With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In this question, we are given that the figure below shows the variation of a specific heat capacity that is capital C of a solid as a function of temperature T. The temperature is continuously increased from 0 to 500 Kelvin at a constant rate. Ignoring any volume change, the following statements is are correct to a reasonable approximation. So we have to approx these statements and find which of the statements are correct. So first statement is are given to us that the rate of at which the heat is absorbed in the range 0 to 100 Kelvin varies linearly with the temperature. So from 0 to 100 Kelvin means this part. So in this part our variation is approximately linear. So approximately linear so the heat is absorbed heat absorbed is equal to q is equal to mc into delta t that is delta q so this is the value of heat absorbed or delta q by delta t is equal to mc delta t upon delta t that is the rate of heat absorbed so this is a rate so from here we can see that the variation of c is approximately linear with respect to temperature so the rate of heat is also linear so our first statement is correct again second statement the heat absorbed in increasing the temperature from 0 to 100 Kelvin is less than the heat required for the increasing the temperature from 400 to 500 so in this delta Q upon delta T we can see delta T delta q is proportional to c delta t and c delta t is the area of this graph so from 0 to 100 this is our area and from 400 to 500 this is our area so the area covered between 400 to 500 is greater than 0 to 100 so this option will be also correct that is heat approach heat absorbed is increasing in the temperature from 0 to 100 Kelvin is less than the heat required for increasing the temperature from 400 to 500. Third statement, there is no change in the rate of heat absorption in 400 to 500 Kelvin. So from the graph we can see that the rate uh, heat absorbed, the variation of C with the temperature is uh, equals to is nearly constant so from here we can see that the heat rate of heat absorption is constant so this option is also correct fourth statement the rate of heat absorption absorption in the increases in the range 200 to 300 so in the range 200 to 300 we can see that the from the 0 to 100 the heat rate is varying linearly and 200 to 300 it is like a parabolic curve so it here it will change more so the rate of heat absorption increases in the 200 to 300 so this option is also correct so both uh, all the four options are correct for this c versus d graph thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.